Thieves steal up to $30 million of cash in one of Los Angeles's biggest heists. Thieves have stolen as much as $30 million in cash from a Los Angeles money storage facility in one of the biggest burglaries in the city's history. The culprits broke in through the roof on Easter Sunday night, sources told the LA Times, and the raid was not discovered until the vault was opened again the next day. It is unclear how they avoided triggering the alarm. The facility is in the Silmar area of the San Fernando Valley and is used to store and handle cash from local businesses, said police commander Elaine Morales. Very few people would have known about the large amounts of cash being stored there, the LA Times reported. The FBI is said to be investigating alongside police. The timing of the burglary draws comparisons with London's infamous Hatton Garden heist, which also happened over the Easter weekend in 2015, apparently to avoid detection as nearby businesses were closed. The LA raid comes about two years after 22 bags of jewels and valuables worth up to $100 million were stolen from a truck about 40 miles north of LA on Interstate 5. The thieves struck when one of the armed drivers was sleeping and the other getting food at a petrol station. They have never been caught. <laughs> British billionaire and former Spurs owner avoids jail over insider trading scheme. British billionaire Joe Lewis has avoided a jail sentence after admitting he orchestrated an insider trading scheme that helped those around him make millions. The former Tottenham Hotspur owner, who lives in the Bahamas, tipped off his girlfriend, friends, and two of his private pilots with inside information on four publicly traded companies, which they used to get rich, prosecutors in New York said. In January, he pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit securities fraud and two counts of securities fraud, admitting in court he had known he was breaking the law. But prosecutors had said he deserved leniency because of his age, bad health and willingness to come to the US to face the charges, rather than force a protracted extradition battle. In court on Thursday, the 87-year-old was sentenced to three years probation and fined $5 million. Before he was sentenced, Lewis spoke briefly, saying, Your Honor, I'm here today because I made a terrible mistake. I'm ashamed. Lewis said he hoped to make amends and to rebuild the trust that I have squandered in the remainder of his life. Lewis founded Bahamas registered investment firm Tavistock Group and is one of the 500 richest people in the world, according to the US government. His fortune is estimated at $6.2 billion, including homes in several countries, a $250 million yacht, private planes worth $90 million, and a $100 million art collection. Lewis held a majority stake in Premier League football club Spurs for more than two decades, a shareholding now owned by a trust on behalf of his family. From the beginning, it was clear Lewis would not be any ordinary defendant, after his initial arrest, he was released on $300 million bail after putting up his yacht and plane as collateral. Prosecutors said he learned about public companies after making large investments and on at least four occasions between 2019 and 2021, he tipped off those close to him. This insider trading was not the result of aberrant, one-time conduct but rather a troubling pattern of misconduct over the course of several years, they said. His motive was unclear but prosecutors said it was possibly down to his hubris ego, a desire to make a financial gift without parting with his own money, an irrational form of greed, or some other reason. <laughs> Adidas to block Germany kits option over Nazi semblance. Adidas has said it will block Germany's football kits featuring the number 44 over concerns it resembles the Nazi SS symbol. The new kits were launched last month as Germany beat France 2-0 in a friendly and will be worn at Euro 2024, taking place in Germany this summer. However, similarities were flagged with the font of the number 4, specifically when the figures are side by side where they resemble the lightning bolt style rune designed for the Schutzstaffel SS, by Walter Heck in the 1930s. The SS was responsible for numerous crimes against humanity under Hitler's Nazi regime, including the A Final Solution, the systemic genocide of millions of Jews across Europe from 1941 to 1945. The German Football Association DFB, said it had checked the numbers from 0 to 9, then submitted the numbers 1 to 26 to UEFA for review. 
In a statement on X, DFB said, none of the parties involved saw any proximity to Nazi symbolism in the creation process of the jersey design. Nevertheless, we take the comments very seriously and do not want to provide a platform for discussions. We will develop an alternative design for the number 4 and coordinate it with UEFA. Adidas, DFB's official supplier, earlier said it would remove the number 44 from their range of customization options and blocked personalizing the shirts on its online store. We will block the number 44 as quickly as possible. As a company, we actively oppose xenophobia, anti-Semitism, violence and hatred in any form. Any attempts to promote divisive or exclusionary views are not part of our values as a brand and we firmly reject any suggestions that this was our intention," spokesman Oliver Bruggen told German media. DFB previously announced American sportswear giant Nike would become their official supplier from 2027 based on financial reasons, a move ending a 70-year partnership with Adidas. Patient with pig kidney transplant leaves from Massachusetts Hospital. The first patient to receive a kidney transplanted from a genetically modified pig has been discharged from hospital. Richard Rick Slayman received the organ in March in a world first after undergoing a four-hour surgery at the Massachusetts General Hospital MGH, in Boston. The 62-year-old suffers from end-stage renal failure, a chronic disease where the kidneys can no longer function on their own. This moment, leaving the hospital today with one of the cleanest bills of health I've had in a long time, is one I wish would come for many years. Now, it's a reality and one of the happiest moments of my life," he said in a statement on Wednesday. He thanked all the medical staff involved and who have cared for him before and after his historic transplant. He added, I'm excited to resume spending time with my family, friends, and loved ones free from the burden of dialysis that has affected my quality of life for many years. I want to thank anyone who has seen my story and sent well wishes, especially patients waiting for a kidney transplant. Today marks a new beginning not just for me, but for them, as well. The successful surgery has spurred hopes transplants from animals to humans, xenotransplantation, could address the global shortage of donor organs. Unfortunately, there are not enough kidneys out there, he said, for the thousands of patients in need. This would be a huge hope for them to receive a kidney in a timely manner before they get too sick to actually get a kidney transplant, which is the best treatment for kidney disease. It was such a joyful day for all of us, said Dr. Leonardo Riella, the hospital's medical director for kidney transplantation. The kidney Mr. Slayman received was modified by Massachusetts-based firm Genesis. It was genetically edited using technology to remove harmful pig genes and add certain human genes to improve its compatibility with humans. Researchers have been trying since the early 2000s to genetically modify pigs in a way that reduces the chance of the transplant being rejected by the human immune system. According to the United Network for Organ Sharing UNOS, more than 100,000 people in the US are waiting for an organ transplant. Data also shows around 17 people die each day waiting, with a kidney the most common organ needed for transplant. More than 5,200 patients are on the kidney transplant waiting list in the UK, exceeding the 3,300 transplants that are carried out each year, according to Charity Kidney Research. Rebel Wilson claims she felt sexually harassed by Sasha Baron Cohen on set of Grimsby. Rebel Wilson claims she felt as if Sasha Baron Cohen sexually harassed her on the set of the film Grimsby and believes he gets off on making people feel uncomfortable. The Australian actress made the allegations about the British comedy star in her memoir, Rebel Rising, which was released in the US yesterday. A representative for Baron Cohen describes her claims as demonstrably false in a statement given to the PA news agency. Wilson, 44 years old, starred alongside Baron Cohen, 52 years old, in the 2016 spy action comedy Grimsby, known as the Brothers Grimsby in the US, playing his on-screen girlfriend. Best known for films including Bridesmaids, Jojo Rabbit, and the Pitch Perfect series, Wilson says she is not aiming to cancel the Ollie G and Borat star, but wants to share her alleged experiences as, the more women talk about things like this, hopefully the less it happens. 
Wilson claims she felt that every time she talked to Baron Cohen during filming in South Africa, he'd mention that he wanted me to go naked in a future scene, which she says was in no way essential to the plot. She accuses him of giving me gross directions, and says it appeared as if he wanted me to look and feel awful, allegedly making her change into smaller clothes, where you could see as much cellulite as possible. Wilson also details a particular alleged incident on set, claiming she was lured out of her trailer into an unfurnished concrete room with a mattress on the floor, with the only people in the room being Baron Cohen and his mates. She alleges that Baron Cohen pulled down his trousers as his friends recorded on their phones, telling her, OK, now I want you to stick your finger up my ass, for a scene that he said would be in the film. Wilson, who says she was scared, claims there was no director or film crew around, and adds, it's my opinion that Sasha Baron Cohen gets off on making people feel uncomfortable. A representative for Baron Cohen told the PA news agency, while we appreciate the importance of speaking out, these demonstrably false claims are directly contradicted by extensive detailed evidence, including contemporaneous documents, film footage, and eyewitness accounts from those present before, during and after the production of the Brothers Grimsby. Baron Cohen's wife Isla Fisher also appears in the film, alongside Mark Strong, Penelope Cruz, Ricky Tomlinson and Johnny Vegas. Wilson says she did not want to be labeled a troublemaker at the time, but shared a version of her claim on social media during the hashtag MeToo movement in 2017, without naming Baron Cohen. Taylor Swift has become a billionaire, according to Forbes' 2024 list of the world's wealthiest people. Taylor Swift has made it onto a list of the world's billionaires, according to Forbes, as her era's tour spanning 152 shows and five continents generated more than $1 billion in revenue. The 34-year-old superstar, who stole the show at this year's Grammy Awards by winning Album of the Year for the fourth time, is now said to have accumulated a fortune of $1.1 billion. According to Forbes, the estimated figure is based on the value of Swift's music, earnings from her world tour and her real estate portfolio. The US country turn pop singer is the only musician to have earned so much money from her songs and performances alone, Forbes adds. Swift, whose relationship with NFL player Travis Kelsey, 34-year-old, has gained her, and American football, even more publicity, is one of the 265 people to have joined the 2,781 strong list of billionaires over the past year. The richest new person on the list is ION tycoon Andrea Pignatero, 53-year-old, from Italy, who is now worth $27.5 billion. Sophia Hogberg Schorling and her sister Marta Schorling Andreen, the daughters of Swedish investing tycoon Melker Schorling, are the richest women to join the list with an estimated $5.6 billion each. Livia Voigt, 19-year-old, is the world's youngest billionaire and the youngest among the newcomers after inheriting $1.1 billion based on her stakes in Brazilian turbine manufacturer WEG, co-founded by her grandfather. French fashion designer Christian Louboutin, whose iconic red sole heels were also worn by Swift in her era's tour, also made the Forbes list with an estimated fortune of $1.2 billion. Swift will be releasing her 11th studio record, The Tortured Poets Department, on April 19. It will include collaborations with UK-based band Florence and the Machine and US rapper and singer Post Malone.